feel to be on the outside looking in. Let's get this party turned up. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in a long time. There is a lot of character building in this movie, and I appreciate that because we see Sue Ann, aka Ma, in the situations that are making me feel compassion for her. Because there are these flashback sequences that at first I thought were a bit odd, but then as the story progresses, it makes more sense. There is a reason for Sue Ann, aka Ma, to be doing what she's doing. And while she's doing it, I hate her because she's doing it, but at the same time, I feel sympathy for her because of the flashback sequences that explain her past circumstances. We have Diana Silvers, who plays Maggie, the daughter of Erica, who is played by Juliette Lewis. And Maggie in this movie is a girl who has moved to a new town. She meets some friends, and one of the friends who I thought was a bitch at first, but then ended up being pretty cool because she's real, she's being herself. Haley, who was played by McKaylee Miller. And it's interesting, at first it's surface level stuff where, oh, you have these kids and they wanna drink and do drugs and they're hanging out. But what I appreciate from this movie is that it takes the time to build character relationships that I am invested in. Erica is a mom who is trying to make ends meet. She's doing the best that she can to provide for her daughter. But we have some interesting elements in here with the adults as well. And I did not expect that at all. So there's lots of character connections here. It's a town where everybody pretty much knows everybody. So we Making get these nice character interactions that build over a course of time to get us invested in these people. And it's fantastic. And that's the strongest part of this movie. It, it all makes sense as to why Sue Ann is, is doing what she's doing that has been burning inside of Sue Ann. She's been mentally scarred. And the kids just happen to be caught in the middle of this whirlwind. My verdict for this movie is it's great. I was struggling with the rating for this because it builds and builds and builds to some it may feel boring because when i saw the trailers for this the one thing that intrigued me is that a it's octavia spencer and i respect octavia spencer as an actor and the only reason i saw this was for octavia spencer if it wasn't octavia spencer i wouldn't have watched this movie and octavia spencer gave a fantastic performance and the story is pretty solid and the music in here is really good and the characters have personality and i like that and it gets me invested in their uh, connections that they have amongst each other and so it all makes sense and it builds and builds and builds and you're invested and so it's it's beyond what i expected i expected this just to be about some kids who do drugs and they meet ma and ma's cool and then Ma goes crazy and starts killing people. That's the generic setup I thought this was going to have. And it had that, but it had more. It made me emotionally invested in these characters and Sue Ann as a person, even though she is technically a villain. I had sympathy for her, even though in moments where she was lying, trying to gain sympathy, I still felt sympathy for her because of the situations that she went through in her past. And so I felt what she was doing was wrong but i also cared about her at the same time and i like the movie did that to me but then it's taken all this time to build which may be boring for some and then so i'm thinking when is the craziness going to happen there's these subtle moments where we see octavia spencer and she's behaving 
in a crazy manner. And so at the end, we're thinking, okay, now it's just going to go balls to the wall, bananas. And it kind of does, but it doesn't. It feels timid. It feels tamed. It doesn't feel like the ending that I wanted because it took all this time to build to Sue Ann, a.k.a. Ma's, you know, burst of emotions, her big blowout, where it's just balls to the wall, massacres, you know. We didn't get that. That's the only thing that disappointed me about this, is that it takes all this time to build, like, spoiler alert, there's a scene between Ben and Sue Ann, a.k.a. Ma, and we see Ben's penis, and Sue Ann pulls out his penis, and she's like, I should cut it off. I wish she would have cut off Luke Evans' penis and stuck it in his mouth. I really wanted that movie to go there, since it took all this time to build to this moment that we've been waiting for. And when it gets there, it's dissatisfying. I don't feel satisfied with the conclusion of this movie. It feels rushed. It it, it, it makes sense, but at the same time, it feels a bit odd. It does. It's not what I wanted. I really wanted her to just go completely off the wall crazy and shove dicks in people's mouths and, and do just a bunch of outlandish shit. And she does that, but it didn't go as far as I wanted it to go. The ending could have just been so much more. That's all I have to say. So as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.